So, time for a compliment to the Connecticut legislature. It did yesterday pass a good bill to improve our ability to combat crime. It passed strongly, 121 to 17. I want to make sure that people recognize what those 17 who voted against this are about and why we need to continue to marginalize them. They're progressives. Progress is the wrong word for them. I call them leftists, and I think they should be observed that way. They do not want America to thrive. They're present in every state. And fortunately, they're marginal in this state, but aside from this bill, they're very influential on other things. Those 17, at least some of them, spoke out against about why better policing is not good, why a GPS monitor on repeat offenders is not good. Come on, GPS is long overdue to give police and pol parole officers and possibly even the community flexibility to see where a miscreant might be doing harm and to exculpate just in case there is, as Robin Porter fears, wrongful arrests of people because they're just minding their own business. <sighs> Rarely in Connecticut are people who are just minding their own business wrongfully arrested. Question, perhaps, but questioning to get at real criminals is not an offense. Don't take umbrage at it. I would be willing to be patted down and questioned once a week if it led to getting at people who were perps, bad guys. Out of touch Democrats, they don't feel the way we do. We would like to be safe. And though Connecticut is ranked relatively safe, we still routinely lock our doors. When I grew up in the 1970s, we didn't lock our doors. That, to me, is a measure of safety, and we aren't there. These wayward Democrats don't mind crime. It's a trade-off because they have a political agenda that overwhelms the casualties that occasionally happen, even in their own districts. The provisions in this bill for longer detentions of juveniles, they're good, but they're not enough. We went from detaining a juvenile to check out his police record for six hours. We've moved it to eight hours. It should be 28 hours, okay? Somebody rightly suspected of doing harm if released ought to be assured that we had the wrong guy. Stay over for a night, okay? If your parents are worried about you, that's their too bad for raising you to be a vile miscreant who shouldn't be out on the streets at that point anyway doing mischief. The police need more tools. They need judges who will keep people in jail when they've done crime. They need prosecutors who have more than six hours to be able to assure that they've got somebody who has a record or not. And not all people can be contacted in law enforcement at 3 a.m. Hold them over for a day. When we have reason to believe that you're a threat to others or you will scout out your Confederates who led you into crime, even if you're a juvenile, you're staying put. Until you're cleared, you're staying put and a weeping parent said, oh, my son's missing school. Too bad. Your son is menacing innocent people, or so we think. We'll clear you, or he's going to jail. So thank you, Connecticut legislator, 121 of you who voted yes, for taking the right measure. And for voters, please examine the 17 who voted against and really assess whether their values coincide with yours about safety. I'm Mark Stewart.